Hi food lovers, my name is Adrian and I love food. Thank you for joining me again. Today, we're back in Brisbane checking out the best American restaurant. According to TripAdvisor, there are 165 American restaurants in Brisbane and at the very top of the list is Big Roddy's Rip and Rib Shack in South Brisbane. Their story started in 2015 when two best friends, Roderick Big Roddy and David, decided to work together by opening a small food stall at the original Boundary Street Markets in Brisbane's West End. The boys followed the market scene all over Brisbane for two years, selling out and receiving positive feedback until April 2017 when they opened their first bricks and mortar restaurant right here in South Brisbane. Three years later, in February 2020, they opened their doors to the second restaurant in Fortitude Valley. According to their website, at Big Roddy's, we not only want to serve you up the best tasting food, we want to serve food that we can all feel good about eating. We believe accountability in the food we sell is very, very important. That's why we only source our signature ribs and fresh produce from ethical, sustainable local farmers. Everything on their menu is made fresh daily. They don't freeze anything, as they strongly believe food tastes better when it remains natural and is cooked fresh. And on that note, let's go order and see just how delicious their food actually is. Hey guys, I just placed my order and as always, um, until the food comes out, I'll update you on what's been happening. So uh, from when we uh, arrived in here, the staff were friendly and, and very welcoming. Um, we asked them for a table in the corner to be away from everyone else so we can do our recording here. Um, now. Um, I asked them what their uh, procedure is with, with, with table service and bringing out the menus to us and they said look we, we don't provide table service as such, we do bring um, your, your food out to you but when you uh, order you have to go up to the bar and uh, then you can place your order and then uh, you know, pay for the food then. So um, I'll, I'll have to uh, wait and see to the end of um, this experience before I, I um, I give my final thoughts on the customer service, but um, look, uh, so far uh, I, I had a chat with them about the menu. I asked them, um, you know, what, what their um, signature dishes are and, and basically they said any of the ribs um, are, are their signature dishes. Um, they said that their best uh, ribs are the baby back pork ribs, a full rack 760 grams, which is $39. And he says premium baby back pork ribs cooked using Big Roddy's signature method. These meaty, flavorsome ribs are seasoned, basted, and char grilled to perfection. Now I had a choice of a few sauces. Um, I asked them, do they have a sweet and smoky um, sauce? They said they don't. They got a sweet sauce. They got a smoky sauce. They got other sauces, but not sweet and smoky combined. They said if I like smoky, then I'm better off going with a smoky sauce which is um, only a little bit sweet. So obviously I went with that because for me the smoke flavor is more important than the sweet flavor. Um, now their um, ribs also come with a side. Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six different sides to choose from. Um, what they recommended was the coleslaw, um, you know, based on the, 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 the meaty ribs. They said um, that goes really well with them, which is um, green and red cabbage carrots and red onion in zesty dressing. Um, now, what else I ordered uh, based on their recommendation? I got the poutine um, with bacon pieces. Now, what that is, is Canadian style fries with a rich gravy and Australian cheese curd. So, I am really, really excited about eating these ribs. As you guys know, um, uh, I love my ribs. I've even done a, um, a, a a ribs video before Mike's Kitchen. Um, if you guys haven't seen that, yeah, make sure you check it out because those ribs were really, really good. Uh, yeah, and I'm really dying to get stuck into these uh, into these ribs. Uh, I should also mention that today is uh, Saturday. Um, it's uh, 11.30, so it's not busy yet. Uh, they said that they've got quite a few bookings after 12. Um, so they said, yeah, unfortunately, there will be some noise uh, then. Also, they had music playing as I walked in here and I've asked them if they could, they could turn that off uh, again because I don't want to be flagged by YouTube for copyright infringement. So, uh, so far so good. 
I'll see you guys when the food comes out. Oh, excellent. Wow. Wow. There's some uh, Adrian size serves over here. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about right here. Oh, wow. The smells. Oh, that smells orgasmic. Wow. Wow. Oh, <laughs> this is this is Adrian size portions right here. Now, let's move this out of the way. Now, hopefully you guys can get a good view of that. Check that out, guys. Wow. Check it out. Unbelievable. Now, um, maybe start on these uh, Canadian style fries. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, the flavor. Wow. That gravy is unbelievable. And that bacon packs a ton of flavor. Oh, wow. Now, what's this cheese curd here? The flavor is insane. It's, just, it's, just, it's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Whoa. Now, let's get stuck into these ribs. Are they hot? A little bit hot. Oh, actually, that quite hot. Um, it might look silly eating ribs with the, the knife and the fork, but, but it is really hot. Too hot for my fingers. Uh, how do I even do this? Oh, that is butter soft. Wow. Oh, now, obviously it's cooked to perfection. I mean, it, was, it, it ripped apart even before I could cut into it, but let's, let's check out the flavor. Okay, I can definitely, definitely taste the smoky flavor. Yeah, I can definitely taste the, the smoky flavor. Um, as, as, if you guys would have seen my, my, my previous video um, with the, the best ribs on the, on, on the Gold Coast, um, those ribs, um, you know, had a similar sort of sauce. Um, not overly sweet it's, it's it's sort of more on the tangy side i guess uh than, than than the sweet side um so it's not necessarily how i prefer but it's it's a brilliant flavor though oh guys it's it's, it's just unbelievable um, i have to get stuck into it doesn't matter if my, my ow really hot yeah i mean the, the ribs are cooked to perfection mm. Absolutely. Yeah, it's very hot for my fingers. Out. Very, very hot. Absolutely cooked to perfection. They're unbelievable, guys. Absolutely unbelievable. Now, I'm not a left-hander, but anyway, let's, let's try the, the coleslaw. Okay. Very crunchy, crispy. The um, the lettuce there. It's got a very um, sort of fresh dressing. Yeah, yeah. I can I can see what they meant when when they said that it goes well with the ribs. Yeah. No, it's good. It is very, very, very good. They're not the meatiest ribs I've had in my life, though. It's priced right as well. The, the price is, is, is spot on. 
for the for the size and and and, and, the, and the flavor and the quality um the price is, is perfect i'm very impressed extremely impressed with the quality of this food the portion size with everything anyway um i'll finish eating this and uh, i'll see you guys in a few minutes with the verdict hey guys just finished eating um that food was unbelievable it, it, it packed a hell of a lot of flavor um everything was cooked to perfection i mean that the meat was was literally falling off the bone um as i said while that sauce uh, wasn't really as sweet as what i would normally like it um the flavor was was brilliant so easily um you know the ribs were, were 10 out of 10. um the the chips the poutine chips um again fantastic flavor from the uh, from the gravy um the chips were, were seasoned brilliantly um the bacon was nice and crispy tons of flavor i mean it was it was it was amazing um same with the coleslaw dish i found it very fresh so um it definitely went really well with the um with the ribs like like they recommended so you know when you when you factor in you know the the quality um the, the flavor the portion size oh it's you know it's it's it's, it's a no-brainer it's it's brilliant it's it's easily a, a 10 out of 10. um customer service was great um you know there is one thing i guess that i'm not a fan of and that's the that they don't come to your table to to get your order so um yeah it's look it's not a very big restaurant uh there's there's quite a lot of booths in here so i guess if if it was um fully booked it would be quite busy and to have you know sort of one person from every table get up and, and line up at the bar um yeah look not sort of my i not my ideal sort of setup to be honest um you know i'd, I'd much rather prefer as you guys know from my previous videos i much rather prefer the um the, the table service you know the the old school table service where they come and grab your order in and obviously you you pay at the end um so you know that aside uh it was great so i'll probably give it a nine out of ten um for for that reason um you know but overall um you know do i recommend this place and would i come here again hell yes definitely i recommend this place and for sure i'll, I'll come back here again um and, and and if you guys are ever in south brisbane definitely come check them out if you guys enjoyed this video i would really appreciate a thumbs up um if you want to see my future videos please subscribe um, that way as soon as i upload a video you guys will be the first to see it and on that note we're gonna wrap it up for today thank you guys very much for joining me again see you guys next time and remember never trust a skinny food critic